Hey everyone, I'm Dustin, CEO of 630. I'm gonna show you today how to install your accessory attachments to your rear subframe. Now, if you're interested in buying an attachment for the rickshaw with the hitch, it's a very easy process. So, if you buy the subframe and you're gonna attach your attachments, first thing I recommend uh, to install your attachments is hook your hitch up to the hitch, um, because or hook, you hook your subframe up to the hitch, that is going to make the process much easier and keep this nice and stable and level. Then from there, there is a four bolt connection. So I'm gonna come in and just set this down. Now I wanna point out as well, you do have fenders here that can be installed. Uh, I would also recommend installing the fenders prior to putting on the basket. It'll make it much easier. Um, I don't have the fenders here today, those are fairly simple to install. They bolt on and then you would just set it down and rest it here. So install the fenders before putting the basket onto the bike. That is also true if you were to buy an extra seat as well. Uh, put the fenders on before. All right, so from there, this is about a 10 to 15 minute process. It's pretty quick. You're just gonna line these four bolts up like so. And you're gonna push that through. And it is important to do a washer on both the top and the bottom. I only have a washer for the bottom right now. Okay. So I'm gonna go through and you're gonna put all four of these in loose. That is very important. We wanna lose the, leave them loose just to make sure we have a little bit of wiggle room as we're lining up all four bolts. Okay. And let's find the best hand position here for this one, okay. And again, just hand tighten as much as you can. Once you get the first two in, it's gonna make it be a lot easier because it's gonna not move and tilt as much. Okay, got those three in. All right. Now, all four are loose. Um, these are 11 millimeter bolt heads. So I like using a ratcheting. You can use an open-ended wrench to hold the bottom screw here. Or if you can do a closed, let's see. And just come in and tighten all four of these down. Now you wanna definitely get these nice and secure There we go. Now just, you don't have to crank it too, too hard, but you wanna um, get to the point where you can't turn it anymore. All right, two more to go. One more. Now I definitely recommend, if you don't already have a ratchet set, um, it makes it a lot quicker. Okay. Now that rattle is the hitch here, which is completely normal with a hitch, but this is all tightened on. That was probably less than five minutes or there about five minutes. And uh, for this trailer basket, we also have a pad we can put in if you wanna put that in there. 
slide that in. Now, process is same for any accessory, including the seat. Now the seat bolts are located inside the basket here. So it is um, gonna take a little more time. You just have to get the bolts in, one hand on top and tighten the bottom or the top. But it's the same for bolts and it's the same for the other basket as well. So you can flip and flop, change out this seat with a basket, change this out with a different basket. You can put a seat back here, basket here. Combination is totally up to you. So if you have any other questions at all, if you're on YouTube, comment below, or you can reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. In addition to that, don't forget, we offer a 30-day test ride your e-trike policy. If you don't love your e-trike in the first 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. And lastly, we're gonna warranty everything for one year. Anything goes wrong in the first year, we take care of it, parts and labor. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey or experience, enjoy the ride.